Which design will become New Zealand's official flag after this final vote this March? From March 3rd to March 24th, the people of New Zealand are about to hold the second vote in the New Zealand flag referendum. This was chosen in the first vote as the alternate flag to go against the current flag of New Zealand right here. This one has been the flag of New Zealand since 1902, and this is the one that the people of New Zealand chose in the first vote. The silver fern flag, designed by Kyle Lockwood, appears to basically replace the Union Jack from the current flag with a more New Zealand-like symbol, the fern. You can see the Southern Cross still appears on both flags. In this first vote, which used a ranked voting system, the fifth place design like that got eliminated first was the black and white quarter design, which happened to be my personal favorite. But that's okay, because I'm not a New Zealander. Then the black and white fern design got eliminated, then the red peak design, and then this one came out on top at the end, beating out the red, white, and blue version. And now the second vote is about to happen from March 3rd to March 24th, and I encourage any New Zealand voters watching to uh, make sure you're enrolled to vote. So, there's a link in the description for you for more information on that. Uh, you gotta be enrolled by March 2nd, so make sure you get on that. So this discussion on whether New Zealand should change its flag has been going on for quite a while now, and now the government finally decided to put it to a vote. And the official flag consideration project, I really want to point out how great of a job they've been doing. Their website is excellent, they've got plenty of information, and they've got brochures in multiple languages on this, which is excellent. And in this 24-hour flag summit, which was a radio show on iHeartRadio, they interviewed a bunch of people, experts on flags, they uh, had New Zealanders call in and offer their opinions, and and they even got a hold of me, and I got to be a guest on the 24-hour flag summit for like a couple minutes, which was really fun. And I've included my little interview segment at the end of the video if you want to stay tuned for that. So which of these designs will represent New Zealand at the end of the year? Let me know in the comments what you think, and make sure you're enrolled to vote, New Zealanders. There's a link in the description, again. So I'm looking forward to seeing the results. Thank you for watching. Bye. What was your, your favourite out of those five? Hey, I want to do something a little bit off the wall here and um, head on over to a place in New Mexico to a young man called Peter Klumpenhauer. Peter, can you hear us? Yes, I'm, I can hear you. How fabulous to have you on our program. Um, thank can you, thank tell you for having us, me. For those listeners that don't know who Peter Klumpenhauer from New Mexico is, um, who you are and why you're interested in our flag debate. Well, uh, I've been on YouTube lately uh, working on a geography-themed flag uh, focused generally uh, YouTube channel and uh, flags have been something I've been interested in for quite a while uh, since childhood and uh, since this New Zealand flag is really exciting I, uh, I've made a couple videos on it and people seem to appreciate uh, the uh, learning about it so uh, yeah I mean, you, your YouTube video sums it all up in a nutshell better than probably most New Zealand media <laughs> Except for us, but Except for, us. <laughs> yeah. for people who haven't seen your YouTube video, Peter, what's in it and why has it resonated with people? Well, uh, basically, I just uh, got a chair out, got a camera out, and uh, my makeshift set, and uh, just talked about the details behind why New Zealand's thinking of changing it and uh, what uh, I found from my research about uh, how it's going. So, um, yeah, I just uh, people seem to uh, be interested in this uh, as well as me. It's a very niche audience, but uh, <laughs> it's entertaining enough. I think that it's interesting that a person that's interested in flags from overseas is now actually participating in the process of changing our flags. So when you see our flag, our new flag, if we have a new flag fluttering at the top of flag, well, you can say, yeah, I, I help them I influence that. that. I influence that. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, do you, uh, um, we've talked a lot in the last sort of 12 hours or so, 8 hours or so, about um, favourites. And in your video, you have a firm favourite, but ha does that change for you? Well, um, my, 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 uh, my favourite, uh, personally, uh, was the black and white koru design, which is uh, sort of funny because it appears to be the least popular one, <laughs> uh, according to my uh, research. Um, but I, I prefer flags that are simple yet iconic. Uh, it, it's generally a good uh, design principle to keep it to about three colors or two colors and make the most out of that. Peter, it's been wonderful to have you on our program. Thank you very much for all you're doing to create awareness of this issue overseas. Well, you're welcome. Uh, thank you so much for having me. All right. Thanks very much. John, the hour is... Uh...